Welcome back. In this teaching video, I'm looking at pure mathematics exam question on parametrics and parametric integration. Here is the exam question. The curve C shown in figure 2 has parametric equations x equal t cubed plus 3t, y equal 3t squared, where t is more than minus 2 but less than 4. The point P lies on the curve C where t is equal to 3. Part A, write down the coordinates of P. Please pause the video, have a go at part A once you've got your complete solution, then play the video. Let's have a look at the solution to part A. Now we know that at P, T is equal to 3. To find the coordinates of P, we need to substitute T equal 3 into the X and Y parametric. Let's start off with the X parametric. So we've got X equal 3 cubed plus 3 lots of 3. This gives me 36. Now I'm going to substitute t equal 3 into the y parametric. So I've got y equal 3 lots of 3 squared. This gives me 27. Therefore, the coordinate of p is 36, 27. Part b. The line L is a tangent to c at the point p as shown in figure 2. Use calculus to show that an equation for L is 3x minus 5y plus 27 equal 0. Please pause the video, write your complete solution. Once you've got your solution, then play the video. Now, the gradient of the tangent L at the point P is equal to the gradient of the curve at the point P. So what we need to first do is differentiate the curve to find the gradient function. So we must apply parametric differentiation. dy over dx is given by dy over dt divide by dx over dt. Okay, so let's differentiate the y parametric. If I differentiate that, I get 6t. Divide by, now let's differentiate the x parametric. If I differentiate that, I get 3t squared plus 3. So that there's my gradient function. If I want to find the gradient of the tangent, to the curve C at the point P, I need to substitute T equal 3 into the gradient function. So dy over dx at T equal 3 is given by 6 lots of 3 over 3 lots of 3 squared plus 3. If I put this into my calculator, I get 3 over 5. So m, the gradient of the tangent L to the curve at point P, is m equal 3 over 5. And we know that the line L, the tangent, passes through the point P, which has coordinates 36, 27. I can call this x1 and this y1. Now to find the equation of L, I can simply use y minus y1 equal m x minus x1. So now I'm going to carry out my substitution. I've got y minus 27, equal 3 over 5 x minus 36. Expand the brackets. This gives me y minus 27 equal 3 over 5 x minus 108 over 5. Now I can take everything to the right hand side. So I've got 0 equal 3 over 5 x minus y. Then I've got minus 108 over 5 plus 27, which is positive 27 over 5. So we want to rewrite this equation in this particular form. So the final step is to multiply this entire equation by 5. So if I do that, I get precisely 0 equal 3x minus 5y plus 27. Therefore, we have that 3x minus 5y plus 27 is equal to 0 as required. Let's have a look at part C. The line L meets C again at the point Q, as shown in figure 2. Using algebra and showing all stages of your working, find the coordinates of Q. Please pause the video, have a go at part C once you've got your complete solution, then play the video. Let's have a look at the solution to part C. Now we know that the line L intersects the curve C. This implies that we're going to be solving number one, the parametric 
x equal t cubed plus 3t, y equal 3t squared. Number two, the straight line 3x minus 5y plus 27 equals zero simultaneously. So simultaneously. So what I can do is replace the x with t cubed plus 3t and the y with 3t squared. So if I do this, I get three lots of t cubed plus 3t minus five lots of 3t squared plus 27 equals zero. The next step is to expand the brackets. This gives me 3t cubed plus 9t minus 15t squared plus 27 equals zero. I can rewrite this cubic equation. So I've got 3t cubed minus 15t squared plus 9t plus 27 equals zero. Solving this cubic equation gives me t equal minus one and t equal three. So we know that at p, t is equal three. This was given in the question. Hence at q, t must equal minus one. So I can substitute t equal minus one into the x and y parametric in order to work out the coordinates for q. Okay, so let's start off with the x parametric. If I substitute t equal minus one, I get minus one in bracket cubed plus three lots of minus one. If I put this into my calculator, I get precisely minus four. Now I'm going to substitute t equal minus one into the y parametric. So I've got y equal three lots of minus one squared. Okay, so if I put this into my calculator, I get three. Therefore, the coordinate for Q, ladies and gents, is going to be minus four and three. Moving on to the final part of this exam question, part D. The finite region R shown in figure two is bounded by the curve C and the line L. Using algebraic integration, find the exact area of R. Please pause the video, have a go at part D once you've got your complete solution, then play the video. Let's have a look at the solution to part D. Ladies and gents, I'm going to start by drawing the area R. So here is my area R. Now to find the area R, I can work out the area of this full trapezium, take away the area under this curve, take away the area under this curve. In other words, the area of the full trapezium take away the sum of the area under this curve and this curve here. So I can draw this, I can illustrate it. So the area R is calculated by finding the area of the trapezium and then subtracting the area under the curve, okay, under that part of the curve, plus the area under the curve, in other words, under that part of the curve there. Okay, now let's go back to the diagram and let's put in some dimensions. Now, the coordinate Q is minus 4, 3. This means that this parallel side, this parallel side over here has to be the Y coordinate of Q, which is 3. This parallel side over here has to be the Y coordinate of P, which is 27. The height of the trapezium is technically going to be 36, minus minus four, which is 14. Let's have a look at this small area under the curve. Ladies and gents, we know that at the point Q, T is equal minus one. So the T limit over here is T equal minus one. At the origin, T is equal zero, because if you substitute T equal zero into the X and Y parametric, you get zero, zero. In other words, the origin. So the T limit over here will be T equal zero. Now, let's have a look at the area under this curve, which is this area here. The lower limit is t equals zero. However, the upper limit is going to be t equal three. At the point p, t is equal three. So that there is t equal three. Right, so now we can calculate the area of this trapezium by applying the formula for the area of a trapezium. So I've got a half, open bracket, 3 plus 27, multiplied by the height 40. Takeaway. 
this area over here is calculated by integrating from minus 1 to 0 of y dx over dt, dt, parametric integration, plus this area over here is calculated by integrating from 0 to the upper limit 3 of y dx over dt, dt, parametric integration. Okay, so now if I put this into my calculator, this gives me 600. Take away. Now this integral over here can be simplified as the integral from minus 1 directly to 3 of y dx over dt, dt. We're allowed to do this because these two areas over here, that area and that area does not fall under the x-axis. So we can actually write it as a complete integral from minus 1 to 3. Okay, let's take this a step further. We've got 600 minus the integral from minus 1 to 3. y is 3t squared, open bracket, dx over dt will be the differential of the x parametric, which is 3t squared plus 3 dt. Okay, so now we can expand this bracket and then we can integrate. So we've got 600 minus integral from minus 1 to 3. Expand the bracket. This gives me 9t to the power 4 plus 9t squared. Okay, dt. So now all that's required is the integral of that and then substituting the limits 3 and minus 1, after which we can do 600 take away our value of this particular definite integral. Okay, so let's integrate this. I've got 600 minus... If we integrate the first term, we get 90 to the power 5 over 5, year 1 integration. Add 1 to the power, divide by the new power. Okay, so if we integrate the second term, we get 3t cubed. And we've got the limits, minus 1, 2, 3. Right, so now I can substitute t equal 3, minus substitute t equal minus 1. So I've got 600 minus... If I substitute t equal 3 into this expression, I get 2, 5... 9, 2 over 5. Take away, if I substitute t equal minus 1 into this expression, I get minus 24 over 5. Okay, so now I've got 600 minus, if I subtract these two, I get 2, 6, 1, 6 over 5. And if I subtract these two numbers, I get 3, 8, 4 over 5 unit squared. That there ladies and gents is the exact area for R. If you found this teaching video useful please don't forget to subscribe, leave a like, leave a comment, turn on your notification bell so that you receive notifications every time I post a new teaching video.